previously. So I'll just keep moving to the left and see if we can see. Is that some? It is some. I actually forgot to be keeping my eyes out for this, even though I said I was going to be looking for it. Completely forgot. I'll take all that. That will do. Let's warp in here. I don't know where this is. I know where this is. Oh, look at all that. We'll definitely take that right there. I'm pretty sure it doesn't spread on stone, so we'll just take it all and then get out of here. Yeah, I want to be across here, didn't I? Because they don't need to warp, and if we go this way, there's usually one around here somewhere. So if we can spy that, that'd be good. It's good on here. Smishy, smashy, smosh. And. Oh, Plantaria right here! Very quick. And I don't see a guitar anywhere in there, so let's move on to this. Now I'm just going to grab this and then we'll be out of here. Don't you worry. Oh, there's so much mod on there. Let's just get out of here for a second. I like how I take more damage from mining carelessly than I do from fighting one of the hardest bosses currently in the game. There we go, that'll do. Uh, I would like to take that, but uh, I can't afford it with my current health. In fact, yeah, let's just go home. Go home, we managed to get 118 Chlorophyte Ore, which should stack nicely with this to get us 255. And we're going to turn that into bars right now. Because, well, I need bars, to be honest. Ooh, not a great deal. Oh, a solar eclipse! Now, the last time there was a solar eclipse, I cut it out because I'm sick of doing them. But, a lot of you asked me to keep it in, to show how good it was. And I thought, you know, it's been a while, why not, let's pop that on. And now we just uh, wait for things to die, basically. It's a very simple system. Not what I can be doing. I mean, I have traps either side, I've got my flamethrowers, I've got everything basically whenever there is a solar eclipse I this is all I do I just stay here and we just let it run I usually pause the recording or cut it out and come back afterwards because it's because I don't do anything I just stay here oh well we'll um, let these guys die I mean if I drop down you can see they fall into here where they're screwed there are flame traps, there are poison dart traps, there are spear traps, and there are also uh, uh, spiky ball traps there. Nothing can get to me. Does anything spawn underground? Right, there's an area here where it looks like they can spawn. So I might want to go and sort that out. Oh, I guess I can't really. They're only going to spawn if I'm down at the bottom anyway. Oh well, right. So let's clean my inventory while we wait. We don't want mud or stone or dirt or blink root or blink root seeds. We don't want, we could want those actually. Uh, screw the plantera mass, stinky big keys, ducks, blah 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 blue. Blah. These all need to go under water. That needs to go under water. That can get sold. That can get sold. That can get sold. That can also get sold. That's a torch I did accidentally. Things are still dying, don't worry. Oh, need to map it up. Uh, I think that's... Inventory sorted, I guess. Why did I jump down? Didn't mean to. So you know what? I'm going to risk it slightly. See how Reapers can't do anything. Sometimes they will land one floor higher, but then I've got a flip on that floor higher up. And if he wants to go across the top, there they can. They're welcome to get flitting frog by that. So I'm going to be a little risky here. I'm going to step out and just show, even across here, look, there's not much they can do to me. Flame throw is here. 
So we've got flamethrowers out here. There's a vampire currently trying to attack me. Normally he wouldn't be able to. It's purely because I'm out of my safety base that they can. But no matter where we go to, they're screwed. I cannot get in here for life of me. Now I would venture to the right hand side to show it off. But if any reapers try to attack me, they'll cut straight through all of those and damage them. They won't if I'm here because they'll just spawn closer to me. But yeah, I have holes down to the depths on either side of this and each of the buildings. If you don't know, my I have an automatic door lock that seals up over the door itself, so it becomes a wall rather than a door. So my, nothing can break the door down to get in, and people can't get out. Not that it would, but... Yeah. Now, uh, solar eclipses, unfortunately, last for 15 minutes. I say unfortunately, because they're kind of boring to me now. I spent a lot of time hoping for them, and these should be super rare for me. I never really got one. And then as soon as I got everything I wanted from them, well, that's when they started becoming extremely common and annoying. Now, nighttime lasts for 9 minutes, but the daytime lasts 15. So, yeah, we've got 15 minutes of pure darkness and then 9 minutes of nighttime darkness, which is surprisingly uh, less dark than the daytime. And there we go, it is now night time. So that vampire should be the last one left, he should drop dead any second. There comes a Frankenstein. Now let's turn this off, let's pick up all of our treasure that's lying around. There should be plenty of it down here. What is that thing? That's an Izor banner I think, I don't think I've had that before. Look at a nice spring as well. It wasn't an Izor banner. Right, let's grab all this stuff and... 
So basically that is a solar eclipse. I usually cut it out because as you can see it's just not interesting at least from my perspective because it's just been there done that kind of thing. I've seen it so many times. Go away. Go away. Alright, let's head this way and see what's around on this side because there will be stuff, believe you me, more than likely up here. There we go. So you may have noticed there were mainly reapers, but some vampires, mostly, of the enemies that were showing up. And the reason for that is just because everything else dies so easily. Reapers can float through blocks and vampires can fly, so they avoid the majority of the traps. Otherwise, you know, it's just the basic things walking to flame traps don't even make it on the screen scenario. But I've kept it in, I've probably, I imagine, stuck a fast forward on that, because no one wants to watch 15 minutes of me standing still. But yeah, there is a solar eclipse for those who wanted to see it. Now, let's throw in the ice spring. Let's put away this stuff. In fact, you know what, I'm going to put away all of this stuff, and when we and sell a bunch of stuff too, because I have, like, well, basically all of this to sell. Uh, and when I'm back, we will actually get on with something decent that is not fighting Plantera. We're going to do some suggestions. And the next suggestion I'm going to do, I've looked ahead of time so I know. This is, this is how I prepare, you see. Um, oh no, I need some of those. The next suggestion I'm going to do is actually, I'm sure the recipe has changed. Drastically. I'm sure it didn't need any of the things that it currently needs. Right, I'll be back in a few.